If you're like me, you love business. God, I love business. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a call. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. We can talk business another time. Yeah, I'm filming a video right now for my business. All right, all right, take care. Okay, yeah, mom. Yeah, I'll have lasagna tonight. In fact, I love business so much that I make sure to surround myself with business stuff as much as possible. This includes the shows that I watch, the books that I read, the people that I talk to, and especially the social media that I waste my time on. That's right, I'm talking about Instagram. Now, there is no shortage of business Instagram accounts out there. Absolutely no shortage. They are a dime a dozen, but I believe I have found my absolute favorite business account of all time. I'm on it right now, actually. I never closed this tab. It's been open since September of 2016. Business Unions. Now this account says that they are giving free income tips and opportunities, lessons for bright future, and following them is a free investment, which they've got me hook, line, and sinkered right there. And now aside from giving some really good business advice, they actually have a link where it says make $3,000 per month, and they link to this website. So so clicking on this website, that brings us here to the most trustworthy, beautiful landing page I have ever seen in my life. It deserves a chef's kiss. Mwah. So the guy that's running this account says that you can quit your nine to five job and work while you travel the world. I can learn how we grew a following of 500,000 followers and have an earning stream of $6,000 per month. Scrolling down, very trustworthy. Um, this car I actually did find on Google, so maybe it's not his, but I still trust him. We'll scroll down a little bit more, and boom, there he is, Parvi, the guy behind it all. He is a 20-year-old entrepreneur living off of Instagram, earning more than... I've never seen a number this big. Three thousand dollars per month hold on hold on this is absolutely blowing my mind this guy makes three thousand dollars per month thirty six thousand dollars per year off of instagram now i don't know why he said six thousand dollars up here um but whatever now on this website he he doesn't give everything away for free he is a very smart man if i'm ready to get to my dream life i go ahead and click on this thing for just 14.97 it used to be 59 dollars, but now there's a 75 percent discount i can get his instagram master series now i'm not going to do that um because I actually do not have a business right now. I want to start a business, but I do not have business ideas. I need ideas. And thankfully, Parvi has me covered. Business Unions has the hottest business ideas I have ever seen in my life. Seriously, this account is an absolute gold mine. I've picked out just a few of my favorites that we're going to be looking at today to hopefully inspire you as well as inspire myself to get started on any one of these invaluable business ideas. So let's take a trip down Parvi Lane. Bam! Business idea. When you're scrolling through your feed and you see business idea this big in this bold font, it really gets you going. So Parvi's first business idea is furniture refurbishing. All that you have to do is browse garage sales or classifieds for good quality old furniture selling cheap. Example, $50 for a table. I'll give them that. That's definitely something that exists. Then all that you have to do is become an expert at refurbishing the old tables, chairs, etc. And that's $30 for materials. And left a little bit out there, but all right. And then all that you have to do is resell on Craigslist or Amazon. And that's $500 per table. I think Parvi kind of missed the mark on this one. If you're actually able to find somebody that's willing to pay $500 for a refurbished table, you need to send them my way. I actually have this candle that I could sell them. Sure, it's 1920ths of the way used, but originally this candle was $35. Now, I personally bought it for $5, but I would be willing to sell it to the next person for $8. This will give you a clean hour and a half of great mold cider smell. So Parvi, hit me up, man. And so all that you have to do is find five people per week that are willing to spend $500 on a refurbished table. And just like that, you will be making $109,200 per year. But all right, everyone has their days, Miley Cyrus, 
you know, the girl, she said that. Parvi, I bet he understands that. Let's check his next one. All right, business idea again, baby. Let's go. Insta marketing agency. So this is actually Parvi's specialty. This is where he has made his fortune, his $36,000 fortune. So let's go ahead and see what invaluable advice he has for us here. It's kind of a short list. So there's four steps. First of all, you have to start and grow an Instagram page. I might have liked some elaboration right there. Maybe a little bit, but whatever. Okay, get enough followers to sell advertisements. Okay, once again, I would like to know how to actually get the followers, but it's whatever. Not everything's gonna be handed to you in life. I mean, come on, come on. You think Warren Buffett is out there giving you his exact financial picks? Oh, he is? Okay, well. I guess he's just keeping a secret. Third step, here's the big one. Diversify revenue sources. I feel like he might have just went into a business term dictionary, kind of closed his eyes and just picked something at random and then put it in here. Because while it makes sense, you do want to have diversified revenue sources on something like an Instagram page. Just saying that doesn't mean anything. But apparently it means a lot because you can make $400,000 plus per year off of growing an Instagram page, selling ads on it, and diversifying revenue sources. I love that number too, 400,000. If he just said like 100,000 or like 36,000, like he's actually pitching in his course, wouldn't that be more believable? Wouldn't people be more willing to be like, oh, that's something that's very attainable to me. $400,000 a year just seems so, so random. Like he just bashed the keyboard and was like, 400K, all right, sure. All right, so we missed two in a row, but that's not a strikeout. A strikeout is when you miss three in a row. So I'm sure this next one is gonna be a home run. Business idea again, baby. God, that gets me so hyped up. Amazon affiates. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really know what Amazon affiates is. I know about Amazon affiliates and I know it's gone to garbage recently because of the rate decreases, but you know, maybe he's just talking about something new, something hip. We'll see. So how do you do an Amazon affiliate business? Well, you got to build up a following on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay. Once again, kind of leaving out some important information like how to grow a following. Um, that might be the most important aspect, but I'll let it slide again. He's a busy man. He can't be typing out everything. Then you have to sign up to Amazon affiliates. Okay, so he spelled it right, right there. Good. And find some legitimately good products that you would recommend. Okay, that's how that's supposed to work. And then what you have to do is you then just earn commission for every purchase made from your link. Okay, so is it like I make the link and I immediately make money? How am I supposed to advertise the link? Any, 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 anything? Also, I like how it's like, oh, business idea, Amazon affiliates, when it's like, yeah, that's a way to, to make money. It's not a business unless you incorporate it into one. That's like saying Uber is a business idea. It's like, yeah, people use that to make money. Money on my brain says facts though. So that's kind of that stamp of approval from the elites in this space. But all right, that was a bad one. That, that, that was a rough one. Let's see the next one. Oh, I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. I live in Florida. It's hot. Ice cream is super hot to me um, it, in a cool way. It's cool, you know. So business idea for ice cream vending machines, baby. Let's go. So first of all, you have to purchase a bunch of vending machines, three to $5,000 per machine. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you got to spend money to make money, right? <laughs> so three to $5,000, wait, $3 per machine is what he's saying. $3 to $5,000 per machine. Why would you spend $5,000 on a machine when you can get one for $3? My man Parvi is getting absolutely robbed in the vending machine industry. But once you've spent all that money on them, you have to fill the vending machines with a collection of ice creams, 50 cents each in bulk, and then set machines up around busy public beaches. Okay, so I have not done this before. I'm gonna be the first to admit to you, I have not had a, a vending machine business before, but I do not think that you can just walk up to the beach and put a vending machine down on the ground and just walk away. I'm almost positive that's not how it works. And then all you have to do is sell the ice cream for $2.50 each. 30 sold per machine per day is $75 per day 
per machine. And if you have 10 machines, that's gonna bring you a profit of $189,000 per year. Okay, so I actually looked this up. I wanted to see how successful vending machines were. And apparently most vending machines make less than $5 per week. And his estimate of $75 per day may have been a little bit overzealous. But let's just say he has put these machines in the best possible place. He's lined them up on the boardwalk and it's always hot out every day of the year. We're still not okay. My boy Rugby Limited .ie really sum this up here. He says, garbage, think of time, permit, electricity, and time of year. It's not that easy, bro. And I cannot agree more. Time of year, definitely a big player here. If you're selling ice cream, it's not gonna sell much when it is cold. So if you live in a cold state, you are screwed. Also, a really big thing um, is upkeep with these machines. That's huge. This is not passive in any which way. Sure, you get to like sit around for a bit while they just run, but you gotta constantly go around to your machines, restock them, perform maintenance, empty them out, all of that stuff. Also, you can't just put your machines down. You need to first of all have a permit, and then second of all, you have to rent space to actually put it down. You can't just walk up to like a 7-Eleven and put a vending machine outside, your vending machine is going to get destroyed or taken away, or you're going to get your ass sued. I don't really get why these Instagram entrepreneurs are so obsessed with vending machines. I guess I get it because it seems like it's a very passive income, oh, you know, super easy business idea, but it's super far from it. All right, baby, this is what I love to see. Watches. Surely this one has got to be good. I'm rocking my watch right here, my Seiko, my Psycho. I don't even know how to say it, so I am absolutely for this. Fitness watches. So I think what he means is like a Fitbit, maybe. Um, so let's just assume that's what he means, like a Fitbit. So buy fitness watches in bulk and ship from China using Alibaba.com. You can buy 180 of them for $30. So you're spending $6 to get one of these. I gotta be honest with you, I don't think they're gonna be very high quality. <laughs> when I drop shipped garbage, I was spending more money on jewelry than you're spending on a fitness watch Fitbit ripoff. That is not gonna be a high quality piece of tech. Then all that you have to do is list the watches on Amazon for $29 each, market Amazon listing on social media platforms, and then you sell 10 per day and you make 290 per day. So my man was probably busy with other aspects of his life because he didn't take out any costs or expenses in any way. If you're selling them for $29 each, you have to subtract the $6 that you paid for it first of all, which is $23, and then you have to subtract the advertising that you used. You are not gonna get any sales just organically marketing them on social media like this. You're gonna have to do some paid ads and that costs a lot of money so you've got $23 that you can spend on ads per sale to make profit but hold on you also are selling it on Amazon so they're taking a cut so you have even less money to play with and also let's consider the fact that there are about a trillion different fitness watches being sold on Amazon aside from the name brands like even Apple watches or Fitbits or any of that garbage you're not gonna sell any of these. If you can sell 10 ever in your entire life, that'll be a feat for this business. Next business idea, Mario. Dude, I know that game, man. I've played that before. So my next step to becoming a millionaire is develop a mobile game. So just think of a creative idea for a mobile game that you would find exciting. Like a big plumber, Italian plumber, stepping on some mushroom creatures just a thought. Use a site such as Upwork.com to get your game designed for $2,000. Okay, so I've never actually designed a mobile game. I barely even code, but this is spoken like a true non-developer. $2,000 to have somebody develop a game for you is probably the cheapest thing I have ever seen in the world. You will never come near that unless you're like, okay, can you make me a word search, for example? And even then, I think it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Now let's say you get past that point and you're able to have an app developed for you. Nobody's gonna play it. I'm not pulling up specific numbers right here, but I have seen that less than 1% of app store apps 
actually even get a single download. It is ridiculously hard to get any sort of user base on your mobile app. That's why apps such as like Raid Shadow Legends spend so much money on advertising because that's what you have to do to get big. So they're saying ad revenue pays $6 per 1,000 ad views, which is immensely high. I've seen it's like $3 on mobile apps. 20,000 users playing each day with viewing six ads per day is gonna yield you $262,800 per year. This one is just mind-blowingly stupid. I gotta move on. Yes, dude, yes, yoga instructor. So I am one with myself. I keep my chakras in line, my chi, you know, it's all there. So this one is very appealing to me. There's a yoga mat on the ground right out of frame, actually. So all you gotta do, man, is rent out a location in your area. Rent price will vary based on location and size. All right, spoken like a true real estate mogul. Charge $75 per month for five sessions. Then all you have to do is grow an Instagram page to help the brand. And then all you have to do is acquire 50 clients per month and that's gonna give you $3,750 per month. And then that yields you a profit of 45,000 per year. I really wanted to give this guy the benefit of the doubt, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't think he thinks that expenses exist. Once again, he has just said, oh, you're making 3750 per month in revenue, which makes you're making profit $45,000 per year. That's not true. That $45,000 per year is not accounting for the rent that you have to pay, the taxes that you have to pay, the yoga instructors that you have to pay. There are so many different factors that you are going to pay for. And $45,000, even if you are making that in profit per month, is not a lot of money for running your own business. But subtracting all of those fees, Holy cow, you're you're below the poverty line, man. Okay, so he might have actually been on a little mental health kick because his next business idea deals with drop shipping yoga mats. So buy mats from suppliers in China on sites such as AliExpress for $2 per mat. And then all you have to do is market on amazon.com and ship directly from the supplier when the purchase is made. Then all you have to do is sell 10 of these per day at $15 per mat and you are making $47,320 per year. Okay, I know what he does. I know how he makes these. He's got a little board set up. It's just random words, random numbers, and then another random word. So he'll just sit back and he'll throw a dart and it'll land on something. In this case, drop ship, like the business idea, which is drop ship. And just an idea for something, yoga mats. Next thing, um, let's say $50,000. Okay. There we go, screw it, put it together, let's roll. Once again, he's not accounting for any type of cost here. Um, so you're making way less money and not to mention, my God, dude, did you just scroll through Amazon at all? Look at all of these yoga mats. Are you kidding me? You think you're going to be able to get 10 sales per day in this climate by offering not even a unique product, but a drop shipped product, no less. This guy is smoking so much crack. I don't, that $36,000 is not enough to supply him with all of the crack that he is smoking. All right, baby, our last one. And so this is my favorite one by far. It doesn't even say business idea. This just jumps right into the money, which is why I love this guy so much. He says one day rent, $700. Price is 60,186. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know what number he was trying to type there. 86 is like very far away from zero and there's no decimal point or anything. And then immediately under that, it says day's rent is $60,000. I'm, I'm, I, I don't think he's okay. <laughs> I think this guy needs some medical assistance. And then I love, I love this part. It's like, he's telling me a bedtime story. Imagine if you had 10 excavators, you would earn $7,000 a day and 21, <laughs> $210,000 a month minus maintenance work. Imagine, it's that easy. So just looking this up, mini excavators usually rent between $200 and $500 per day. So immediately, $700 is a little bit, 
uh, extra. Now I'm just on this website and I'm just looking at some random excavators. I don't know anything about heavy uh, machinery like this, but it looks like you can buy a mini excavator for around, or excavator for around $10,000, $12,000. Now you might be able to rent out these two people for personal projects every once in a while, but you're not gonna be able to rent them out for a big project because people are just gonna buy it. Something like this, $12,000 is not that much money, especially when you can finance it for $167 per month. Um, so good luck. And like, I suppose this could work in theory. You own heavy machinery, you rent it out. But this is just such like a far-fetched random idea that it's so weird why it would be on this account. It's like, couldn't this really go for anything that you buy and then rent out? But you know, maybe I'm just a hater. I'm not the guy that's making 36,000 cool ones per year off of Instagram. That's this guy, my boy, Business Unions. He can find a picture of a Mercedes on Google and put it on his sales page. This guy's living large. So I gotta go. I got to go buy some heavy machinery, some ice cream vending machines, and start up my Instagram marketing agency to start making a cool $400,000 initially per year, mind you. So. I'm gonna head out. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below and comment what you thought of it. Are you gonna do any of these business ideas? I hope not. Also subscribe, uh, do all that stuff, and yeah, see you around.